Create Studio has amazing assets, but sometimes we have to be creative to create the visual we want. Do you have some time? I'll show you two ways we can do that. So sometimes, like she said, we can't always adjust what we have in Create Studio, whether it's the character actions we want, sometimes the backgrounds that we have. So sometimes we want to get creative and masking is one way that we can do this. Here's another example. The one that I showed you was her sitting, although she isn't really sitting, I masked her. And here she is standing behind the table. So now we have a fuller version of the table and all the chairs, and she's standing behind it talking, um, whatever she's talking about. I didn't voice her. This one is also masked. So what I thought I would show you is two ways. Um, well, those are two ways. I'll show you how to do one of them. And if you have your Create Studio open, then you can do it along with us. Um, I wish I remembered what that was called. I think it was an office scene right here. So if we look at this office scene, it's only one image. It doesn't have any layers. So every, you can't move any of these. I have gone and removed background and then I've layered that way. And I, I've thought about actually showing how I did that with a car in a video that I have posted for the lip syncing. But I'm not gonna do it that way this time because I can actually make this work with masking. So I'm going to grab a character. I'm going to lock that so that I don't move it again. So I cannot get her behind the table or anything. So the first thing I did was I, I made it smaller because I knew that I wasn't going to be able to put a lot of people in the chairs. So now I have to unlock this. Um, so I actually just brought it in. And then I noticed when I put her there, this kind of looked like you could see the black of her, um, her suit when it you can see it a little bit right here and it kind of looked like the mask wasn't really working so i made it even smaller it was a little bit more zoomed out the last the first time i did it but if i come in closer now i get more of the perspective that she is talking right and i'm going to make this even just a little bit bigger and the way that you can just get rid of I forgot to detach the mask. You have to detach the mask and then bring it in. Then you can get rid of the extra that's hanging around outside of your canvas. And don't forget to attach it again. I always forget that. So how can we put her in here? She doesn't quite look um, businessy right here. So let's just put her in a quick suit or something. <laughs> so she looks like she is important. I had her sitting in the chair. So what I did is I got a square and this is going to work well because this is a straight edge by the table. If it were curved like the chair, that's going to be hard. I can't really do it as easily with a shape, but I can get a square. I can zoom in and I'm just doing a two finger scroll on my mouse pad. However, you can also zoom with this. You can zoom in and out. I just use a shortcut of my two finger on my mouse. And I'm not gonna worry about the sides. I might even go a little longer in case she moves her arms. I'm just going to make sure that it is matching the table. I am going to put my character there. Then I'm going to take, 
I'm going to just give her an action like talking, just so we have her doing something. I'm going to select both the square shape and the character. Select both of them, right click and mask. So now I have her behind as an illusion, right? She's not really behind. Let's, because it looks like she's supposed to be sitting, I might move her back a little because right here, it kind of looks like she's standing. So I can do that really easily without detaching. I can double click on the mask and then I can come outside the mask and just adjust her. And right here, I can see the gray that shows where it is. Now she may look more like she is sitting. I might actually, I'm going to use my shift and my left arrow key just to move her over a little bit. So she's a little bit more centered. So let's see. That looks pretty good, right? And you can add different actions. And sometimes the different actions might not look so good. And then you'll just have to really adjust whether you want to use that one or not. I think it was when I added idle. I can't remember now. But she moved too much over. If you see like with the talking and with some of the other ones, she's more centered or over towards the right. Then all of a sudden she looks like she's about to get up or get off. So I didn't really like how that looked. So that's one way that you can mask very easily. Now say you want it to be a little bit further in the image. I'm going to take the same background. I did put Lenka behind. I'm going to duplicate her so I don't have to get her again. I'm going to unmask her. Now this one, it would be wonderful if I could make it so that she could walk. I could make this um, mask bigger and have her walk, but it's really hard to do that because the chairs are there. So it's not as easy to mask that. So you'd have to, that's where I probably would remove the background, but I can put her where I want. She's obviously going to be smaller in this case. Probably about there. I'm going to take my mask and I'm just going to do the same thing against the table. Then I will select both mask and then I can move her around. Obviously this is not where I'm going to want her because she's masked so she has no legs <laughs> and I can't really change that too much because you're going to get the chair. So I'm going to do my double click and I can move her over a little bit. She's kind of tall there. <laughs> I think I definitely would move her down more. Um, she doesn't look like she's proportioned too well. She's still too tall there, but you can just adjust to what you need her to be. I can size her down. You could also do all of this before you mask. Um, that maybe looks a little bit better, right? But it's kind of cool when you can learn that you can just adjust it by either size. You just need to make sure that you're clicking on the part of the asset, the element that isn't in the mask because then otherwise you're moving the mask. I want to undo that because it's, there we go. You want to make sure that you're off the mask and then you can move or resize. So there's two ways that you can do masking to if you only have one layer in your background. I hope that helps.